In the collection page, credit card and e-payments, including e-wallets, are collected under card slash e-pay. Clicking the card slash e-pay field will display the available e-payment merchants. Except for credit card, all the other e-payments modes are managed in the admin page. Let's go to the admin page to see where the merchants list is managed. Click details. The e-payments merchants are managed in AdVendors and ePay merchants. Click A to list all the saved vendors. Note that e-payment merchants are saved as vendors and therefore will be listed along with other vendors. This is the list of all vendors, including e-payment merchants. Click on the merchant to load the details. ePay merchants will have credit card slash ePayment merchant ticked. Do not add credit card as a merchant slash vendor. If payment gateway has been configured for your clinic, merchant with online payment gateway ticked can have the online payment status of patients checked in real time and used. Now back to the collection page, to record a payment under ePayment, tick the respective merchant, enter the amount and reference if necessary. Up to two payments per merchant can be recorded. To add second payment, click on this plus sign. The second payment details can be entered here. Sometimes the payments may be made twice, e.g. first upon booking and second as final payment. Whenever e-payment is recorded, you will need to check whether the e-payment merchant has paid back the clinic or not. For credit cards, typically the merchant will pay within one to three days. To record the merchant's payments, go to the admin page. Click account. Specify the period to list the visits with credit card slash e-payments recorded, in this example we select this year. Click card slash e-payments knockoff. These are the visits that have credit card slash e-payments charged in the selected period. As long as the visits with e-payments are not recorded as paid, the sales report will indicate the unpaid amounts. Go to the reports page to see the sales report. Select the period. Scroll down and click Sales. Scroll down under the column Credit Card. The total credit card slash e-payments that are yet to be paid by the merchants are listed under Unpaid by Merchant, in this example it is RM60. Now let's record a payment by the merchant. First specify the date of payment here. Select the merchant from this list. Enter any references if any. Enter the amount received from the merchant here. Tick the visits that the merchant is paying for. The original total of the selected visits will be shown here, along with the deduction percentage. In this example, the merchant paid RM90 for two visits totaling RM90, so there are no deductions and the deduction percentage is zero. Typically, the merchant will deduct certain amount as the service fee. In such cases, enter only the actual paid amount, in this example it is RM89. The RM1 difference will be automatically captured as expense in the system, and the percentage of the difference will be shown, in this example it is 1.11%. Typically, merchants deduct 1 to 5% as service charges slash MDR. If there are any taxes, SSD slash GST, enter the tax amount separately here. Specify the mode of payment. And click M to save this payment. We can check our entry by clicking A to list all recorded payments for the period. Select the payment from the drop down list. Only the visits selected for this payment will be listed by default. To list all other unpaid visits, click All. If necessary, the visit selection can be changed. If there are any changes, edit accordingly and click Edit to save, or Del to delete. It is important for these credit card slash e-payments to be recorded properly so that the payments can be tracked. Otherwise there is no way to know whether your credit card slash e-payments are being paid or not.
It is also important to capture and send the credit card slash e-payments expenses, e.g. service charges slash MDR, to your accountants so that these charges will be captured as expense. To get this info, select the period and click card slash e-payments expenses. These are the date slash time and the amount charged under credit card slash e-payments. These are the payments made by the credit card slash e-payments merchants. These are the merchant's service charges slash MDR and tax. These are the amounts that your accountant must capture as expense. That's it. You're done.